Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are out here at the uh, Civil War era, about late 1860s to turn of the century dump here. And it's been a few months since I've been here, but every time I like to come through here, this little stream, it'll eat away at the sides of here and it'll collect bottles and glass and it's just littered throughout all the way down there it's awesome and I was down here and looking around and these uh, broken bits of jars and whatnot there's some newer 2030 stuff a little interesting shell like shaped bottle I might take that I don't know it's pretty interesting probably just leave it behind I was down here see this tube right here and I realize that's whole and it's also embossed as blown and mold time period. Go ahead and clean it off, see what it says. I'll just rub it off on my pants right here. It says something conning. A lily, I think, or something. I don't know. It's kind of hard to make out. Rub it on my shirt a little bit more. I think it says D or G D Conning Lily. I think that's what it says. I don't know. That's what I think I'm uh, making out on it. So you could zoom in here real quick. I don't know why it's not one to focus. There we go. GD Conning Lily. Or I Lily. Something like that. Yeah, I think it says I Lily. The faint, the uh, the embossing is a little fainted, but that is a good way to start the day, guys. That was awesome. Blown and mold. 1880s, 1890s. I'd say it's probably 1880s on that. That mouth is like really wide on that. That The top of that is really crude looking. But that is a good way to start the day. And uh, by the time this video is uploaded, actually we are already over 600 subscribers. I just want to take the chance to thank everybody. And following me in these uh, adventures and videos and whatnot here in the great state of Indiana It's amazing. I never would have thought I'd ever be over 600 600 subscribers. I think we're at like 610 right now, but it's absolutely unbelievable Just keep hitting the subscribe button the thumbs up the comments the support is amazing guys, but without further ado I'll get back to you. We'll start digging up around there where I found the cathedral pepper sauce ball when we were last here, and I will get back to you when we find something else. Before I even got to start digging, I found a champion spark plug right here in this little uh, ravine right here. Just mix it with all the glass. That's pretty cool. U.S. patent of that's early, early uh, spark plug there. Champion spark plugs has been around for a long time. I have a champion spark plug from World War II that was in an airplane, still with the original packaging too. It's pretty interesting, but put that in a pile of things to bring back home with us. And just look at all this glass down here. I mean, that would have been a Indianapolis Brewing Co. bottle, which probably would have been to that right there. There's just stuff all over the place. Glass all over here. It's all old. And check out this pottery here. Very beautiful early stone pottery. And that's just all up in this wall right here. All the way up through here. This entire wall right here is nothing but a, a dump. The early one. It's just absolutely amazing, but I will 
get back over here like what I was saying and start digging. So let's find some good stuff. I'll get back to you when I do. So I'm just uh, digging around here. Finally got cleared out. I believe up here in this area is where I got the cathedral pepper sauce ball last time. And uh, digging around, there ain't much really ash. Uh, it's just a mix of like dirt and some uh, other stuff, but not really like ashy back here for some reason. I don't know if that's how it is in older dumps, but. Anyway, I'm looking at all these roots right here, wishing that I had like some clippers and whatnot. I look up, I see a marble just chilling right here. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That is an amazing looking marble there. Maybe an agate or something. Not really a marble professional here. But I know some of these can be worth a lot. Wow. <laughs> Look at the white. The light blues, dark blues. That is amazing. I love finding marbles just as much as I do bottles. That's just amazing. The only damage is right there, that little nick. Besides that, it's beautiful. I don't, I don't know if that's an agate or something, but I mean, marbles can be worth hundreds, up to thousands of dollars. That's amazing. I don't think this is one of them, but definitely a keeper and going to go in my collection. But I will get back to you if I find anything else. I think I'm gonna collapse this top piece right here and see if there's anything else up there. But I'll get back to you when I do find anything else. Well, guys, it's been kind of slow here recently. I think I'm going to pack up and head to the other dump here just down the creek. But i uh, just kind of been picking around and whatnot. That's a no-go for now. It's just too, the roots are really drippy. They're just all over the place. I don't have anything to clip them, really. There's a lot of bugs back there. So it's my fault that I didn't bring either bug spray or stuff to clip the roots back there, but it it's whatever. I'm kind of happy with what I got here. I mean, I've been here for an hour or so. Champion Spark Plug, 1880s, 1890s, uh, medicine tube that's embossed, and a really beautiful marble. I think it's absolutely amazing. But I will go ahead and pack up all this stuff. Here's some of the earlier pieces. What the, I have no idea what that would have been. Early, early, 1860s, 1870s there. Same thing here, Here's some fruit jar pieces. The only thing I see, it says cham on it. I don't know what else the rest of it would have said. There's some other ones here. Early pieces, early, early pieces. It's just I really wasn't prepared for today. It's dark back there. It's overcast today. So I figured the natural lighting would have been enough. But it isn't. So I wanted to get a, uh, a light. So I don't have to constantly keep on using my light on my phone. But it's alright. Um, I'm also going to be taking this medicine here home. I normally don't bring these home because the ones with the measurements are on the side are usually common as hell. But it's blown a mold. It's heavy too. It's nice and early, so I'm gonna take it home, clean it up. It's a good old bottle, and uh, it'll display nicely on the shelf. But I will get back to you when we get over to the other dump. All right, guys, I'm almost to the dump. The dump's right, right over there. But I've always wanted to cross this uh, little, tr uh, this big tree right here, but the water is normally up above it and it's very slippery, but I was actually able to get up over here. And there's a bottle right there. And there's a big jar right there. They're probably nothing, probably just junk. Either from this, uh, either from the dump, or you toss them out. But I don't know. You never know until you check. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and shack up. I'm gonna get right there and try to scoop it up with the shovel. Get back to you when I do. All right, guys, we are back at the hillside dump. One of our dumps that we dig out the most. That's the area that we dug out last time. We filled it pretty much all the way back up like the owner had requested us to do. So we did that. I'm back here on the other side digging. And check this out. Got a bucket right here with a bottle in it about to come out. Never seen this happen. That's insane. My question is, what is the bottle? I think it's just a newer whiskey. Mm-hmm, that's exactly what it is. But that's all right, that's just the surface fun. And once again, back in 2011, this entire hill suffered a hill slide, so that's why all the bottles are all mixed up. The age is just, you can dig, pull out 20s bottles, dig a little bit more, and pull out 1800 stuff. It's just all mixed in with each other. But that's all right. We'll get back to it and we'll pull out another one. Guys, I just really don't think digging's working out for me today. <clears throat> it's more been scavenging around on the creek banks and uh, on the surface of the dumps because look what I just found. Freaking boots are full of water, but I found this crock. Still got a little uh, porn spout on the top, but it is complete, no damage. Besides a few little chips. It's got a lot of rust on it though. Uh, nothing like a power washer can't handle that. But that is awesome. That is my second crock out of a dump, or out of the creek. That's amazing. I looked at it and I seen it in the deep water over there. It's about four foot deep over there. Four and a half feet deep. I seen it, I was just like in disbelief and I'm going to hold a crock. So we got a crock, a really good marble, early med. Uh, two early meds, actually. And a spark plug today. And there's a few other things over here. When this landslide happened 10 years ago, it, uh, it literally took a lot of stuff down here looks to be a safe over there the front to a safe or some other bottles over there there's a wagon wheel over here an old metal wagon wheel bunches of bricks I'm gonna go over and uh, have some fun through all that stuff I found the crock right over here but there's the wagon wheel I don't know if you guys can see it or not it looks in really good shape that's an old wagon wheel metal obviously it's a lot of stuff over here haven't been really recording too much so I'm gonna let the camera just re just roll through here real quick what is this that looks like gosh that is the hood to a truck right there an old truck it is heavy 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 I really don't want to drop my phone. That would suck. There's a lot of stuff through here to trip on. Uh, that would be terrible. What's that? It's just a brick. It's just an old something. Old uh, can. Let's get up here. Can't really see over here. When I'm over here. I can't see this stuff a whole lot since I'm right on top of it. Mm, what's that? An old vase? Oh wow, that's what it said something on the bottom. Stone China. Wow. Shaw 
Ursulum, I think. Look at the uh, look at the uh, ornate on that. It's crazy with the horse and the uh, looks like a a lion or something. It's crazy. Well, I wish that would have been a hole. There's a big hole right there, and the top's knocked off of it. That's neat. Let's see what else is through here. What is that? Yeah, there's a ball jar right there. <laughs> Jeez. There's all sorts of stuff through here. There's some levers on the side of it. Don't know what that would have been. Looks like enamel like type uh, design right there. That is weird. Never seen something like that. I almost fell. Some mud's a bit treacherous. Let's go see what this ball jar is over here. Just sticking on the side right here. That's a little guy too. That's crazy, just chilling. Number 10. Guys, a day has been a really easy day. Guys, still has the original contents in it. I don't know if you can tell, but that looks like meat. That's insane. Or like liver or so. That is definitely a type of food or meat. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is just insane. Still sealed too. That's absolutely crazy. It's got some type of... Uh, That's just awesome. That just uh, opened. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, God, that... Uh, oh, that smells. It smells nasty. Nasty, nasty. I think I'm going to go ahead and dump that out. Oh, woo, that, yeah, that. Hundred year old canned meat. That is. That is disgusting. Do you guys have any idea how that smells? I have never come across that before. Oh, we got the original lid with it too. What is that? Oh, it's a crawfish. There's a lid back here too. No, no, that would have been another top tone or a uh, ball jar. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else on this side right here. Back here. I think that was the only thing. All right, well, I will get back to you if I find anything else. Guys, we are absolutely killing it today. Just got a knee high down there. I really wish I could record it, but I have nowhere to put my phone when I grab stuff. I'm having to use the shovel because it's so deep down there, and I'm up almost waist deep in water. But we got our soda for the day. That's just awesome. I always love finding these Art Deco, uh, Art Deco knee highs. That's awesome. And it is from Martinsville. 
like they usually are around here. That's odd. I've never found a Bloomington knee high. They're probably uh, harder to find in this area, but that's awesome. Just from that one little area, we got a crock, a ball jar with disgusting rotting meat inside of it, and a knee high. And there's some other stuff down there too. There's a lot of bottles. There's a big, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's huge. I think it's like a milk jug or something. And there's something above it. There's a bunch of stuff over there. I'm excited. <laughs> really excited. There's a lot of stuff just concentrated in this area. I've never taken the time to stop here and actually look through it. Always, I just thought it was all junk. I really didn't think of really much of it at the time because of the dump. The dump was distracting me from the other treasures that were hidden down here. But I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Try, I'm going to get down there. Whew, after fighting with that damn thing for 12 minutes, I finally got loose. It was pinched on a uh, cement block and buried about up to there. But I got it out. That's in really good condition. There's a little bend there, and the spokes bent a little bit. Besides that, it's in really good condition. And I got another knee high while I was down there, too. That thing is awesome. But, uh, it's a waist, waist high, waist tall. It's in really good condition. Nice old wagon wheel. That is amazing. I'm going to be excited to get that cleaned up and get that home. I just got to decide how long it was to stand down there and get because I still got all these bottles and jars to pack up, that crock to carry out, the shovels to get out, and this. Today has been a really easy going, successful day. Uh, that's the, been the hardest thing of all day, but besides that, it's literally just been pick and go. I literally have had to do minimal digging. It's just absolutely amazing today. I'll get back to you when I find something else. Just pulled out this amazing Jung Cincinnati. The Jung Brewing Co. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Really good condition. Blown in mold. Really cool bottle. Never heard of that brewing company. A really nice early uh, blown in mold beer. Also, got a... Heming Gray number 12 insulator, CD uh, 112, I think. I believe the CD number is for that. Guys, we are, we are doing really good today. I'm absolutely soaked. My pants are completely soaked. And uh, my boots are full of water. There's some other bottles I'm just not getting. They're common. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it's ending. I'm literally over there waist deep just plucking out bottles. I just wish I was able to record it, but I really don't want to drop my phone in there. Maybe one day I'll have to invest in a GoPro, but I really feel like it's not done yet. I feel like there's definitely a good concentration of bottles. I haven't even made it up this way yet. I've been sticking in this area mainly, but I will get back to you when I find something else. Well guys, this is the uh, wrap up. At the end of the day, this is all we got. And it was a quite a productive day. And it was a really easy day. And for some reason, even though it was easy going, I'm sore at the end of the day. I've had a pretty, uh, pretty busy last two days. But first finds straight off the bat were the, uh, the GD conning. I think it says T. Lily. Do some research on that. 1880s, 1890s. Nice blown and mold med. This beautiful marble that I'm going to be doing some looking around to see if it's even worth anything. Regardless if it is or not, it's still an amazing marble. And the ball jar that had all that liver or meat or whatever it was, absolutely disgusting. I'll be making sure to soak that in some hot Dawn Diz soap. Then we got the med over here. This cleaned up really good. 
I was at the uh, second dump site, the older dump site for a while, but I decided to bring it home because it's nice, blown a mold, and it cleaned up really good. Got the two knee highs right here. Uh, this one cleaned up really good. This one will have to soak in some mean green. Same thing with this. Then we got the, uh, the nice Jung, or I, Jung Cincinnati, the Jung Brewing Co. I think that's how you pronounce that. That's an odd brewing co name. Never seen that. That's pretty cool as well. That's blown a mold as well. Then we go over here to the croc. I took the power washer to get most of the gunk off of it, but it cleaned up nice. And it uh, adds to the uh, jug collection over here. It's the second jug I've gotten out of a uh, creek. But uh, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like and a comment. And please consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.